Michael on the drive, in for the right. Hesitation move, to the hoop for the right. Scoop shot, good on the reverse. Michael! Hey guys, this is Dominique Wilkins. Hey, this is Sean Kepper. This is Gary Payton. Hey, this is Paul Gasol. NBA fans, what's up? This is Vince Carter here. Hey, what's up? This is Matt Barnes. If you're an old school NBA fan like I am, make sure you check out the basketball time machine with my man Sean David. Hey guys, what's good? Welcome back to the Basketball Time Machine. My name is Sean David. Thanks for tuning in. Let's talk some old school NBA basketball. In today's episode, I want to take a look at NBA legends telling stories about how Michael Jordan did destroy them when they were in their first season, so when they were a rookie, and also when they met Jordan for the first time. But before we dive into today's episode, let's take a quick look at the sponsor of today's video. Today's video is brought to you by NordVPN. If you guys want to protect yourself from the internet provider stealing your data, you have to get the right VPN. And NordVPN provides super fast servers from all over the world and allows you to connect to a server of your choice and keeping you completely anonymous in the process. It's compatible with most operating systems and there's even a Google extension as well, which allows you to quickly turn it on and off as you please. NordVPN offers unlimited bandwidth and a 24-7 customer support and of course it helps you to unlock and watch your favorite Netflix shows from all over the world. Now as you know every country has different Netflix shows that you can watch. Well and now you can watch all of them. To celebrate NordVPN's 10th birthday go to nordvpn.com slash btm basketball to get the two year plan with an exclusive deal plus one month free and a bonus gift. It's risk free with NordVPN 30 day money back guarantee. Guys believe me you should really check it out right now. Now the first player that we're going to take a look at is Gary Payton. Obviously, Payton had many rivalries going on with Jordan, especially in the 1996 Finals. But he has also a story that he wants to tell when he met Jordan for the first time playing with the Seattle Supersonics. Let's have a look. I got killed for two years. <laughs> right. It was really a joke. And when I went up against Michael Jordan and all them, they didn't really, I didn't understand, they didn't play preseason hall. They just cruised through it. And then when the season got there, they when he took it personal because I had like 20 on him in, in preseason. He didn't play. I was talking a real lot of smack. The first game was against him. And first thing he said, everybody, I got the youngster. I got the rookie. Wait, wait, Don't nobody your go. Your first ever game was against Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Your first, first game. Season. Okay. Paul, first season. First okay. First regular season right, game you're, you're now against in Michael Jordan, <laughs> man. It's my rookie year in Seattle. Okay. I played about eight minutes. <laughs> she had no points, two about two assists or whatever, and he had 35 and like 12 or something like that. And he looked over and just said, "Welcome to the NBA. It ain't gonna be that easy." <laughs> and the next player story that we're gonna take a look at is from Ray Allen when he was on the Dan Patrick Show, and he's talking about how Jordan would kill him slowly but surely. Let's have a look. Because Mike wanted to kill you. Mm -hmm. Was he mean to you? No, he wasn't. He actually killed me. Slowly and uh, <laughs> yeah, he he would comment to the coach. He's actually doing a great job out here. And meanwhile, he's born at forty five. Wait, he's talking uh, to your coaches? Yeah, I remember uh, Chris Ford. He's he's yelling at me. Chris Ford's yelling the whole time, like rookie, get in front of him, get in front of him. And I'm fronting him on the post, and MJ just kind of slowly kind of glides across the floor, and he gets the ball and shakes and scores. And I did everything the game plan said, and then there's a breaking action. We're sitting there, and you know, Chris Ford is just down there, just hammering me. And MJ was like, he, "He's doing a great job. Coach. He's actually doing a great job." And meanwhile, he's got 45 on the books. So I was like, "Yeah." Did you think that Mike didn't want you taken out because he had 45 in the books? Like he wanted you to guard him? No, I honestly believe that he he didn't think that anybody could stop him. He could score whenever he wanted to score, uh, wherever he wanted to score. So it didn't matter what I did out on the floor. He was going to get his touches. He was going to get his points. I wanted to be the best competitor I possibly can with, with the skills that I had. And so when I, whenever, I, any time I went against Mike, uh, 
you know, it, it was head on. I mean, I knew that he, he was one of the best scorers in the game, or the best scorers in the game, but you definitely had to make him work. Um, and so I took on that challenge just like he took on the challenge. Mitch is certainly one of the best players in this game, and, and I've always admired his game. He's going to be a challenge, no matter how you look at it. And you know, I respect that, and uh, I look forward to the challenge as much as he probably looks forward to the challenge tomorrow. Okay, so now, tell me the experience. You got Michael Jordan. You got to guard Michael Jordan, yeah. right? Does he talk a lot on he, court? No, he, he don't talk unless you talk to him, and oh, you don't okay. want to do that. <laughs> but when he sees a rookie. Yeah, when he sees, yeah, he, he was talking. He was talking at the time. What did he tell you? What did he say? Well, he told me before the night over, you're going to be calling me Mr. Jordan. <laughs> you know? <laughs> And so, uh, but this is uh, something that I was uh, prepared for, mentally prepared to play against him because in college, I used to have my wife when we was on the road. If I couldn't tape the game, I used to have her tape all the Chicago Bulls games. And so I would watch him when I, when I, I come home. And so I used to study him all the time. And, and so when I got the opportunity to play against him, I had already played against him in my mind and studied his moves and stuff like that. And so I played very well that first game against him. And uh, at the end of the game, I went up to him. I said, you, <laughs> he said, uh, I said you, didn't, you didn't get Mr. Jordan out of me tonight. So, uh, but it was a great experience uh, just going up against him the first night. Now the next player story that we're going to take a look at is from Jason Kidd, who had dinner with Michael Jordan one day prior to, well, his first game. Let's have a look. Uh, George Story, uh, my, probably my rookie year, uh, I actually told this story to uh, Chris Middleton. My rookie year, I'm guarding him, and I, I can just, you know, my heart's about to come out of my chest, and I'm just praying that, that he just shoots a fadeaway jump shot. But he decided to go baseline, and when he went to jump, all I could think about, this cannot be a highlight. And uh, he just did like a little reverse layup. And as he came down and started running back, he just looked back and winked at me. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I, I thought, oh, man, this could, this could be a long night. <laughs> Steve, what was that first year like? You're playing for, for Cotton? For that, Cotton Fitzsimmons. Yeah. You know, my experience was totally different than these guys because I was a you know late second-round pick. I didn't know if I was going to make the league. I was on a non-guaranteed contract. And I'll never forget one of my first exhibition games we played the Bulls. And I was just trying to make the roster. And Michael Jordan mm -hmm. gets the ball right in front of our bench. And I'm already scared to death. Like, God, I hope I don't get into this game. I'm, <laughs> I'm not ready for this stuff. And he holds the ball out. He holds the ball out and he looks right at me. And I'm on the bench just kind of like, he holds the ball and he goes, watch this. And he turns, he went right around Dan Marley, bam, dunks it, looks back at our bench and just starts laughing. And I'm looking like, there's no way in hell I can ever make this. <laughs> now I really don't want to. I thought, I, thought he looked, wow. I thought he looked at you and said, 10 years from now, I'm going to throw this to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I kind of thought I knew his potential because I had played against the best players in the NBA so far, the Magics and the Birds and the Dr. J and Kareem. Some great players. And all of a sudden, this rookie comes into the NBA. And I watched the way he moved on the court and his instincts. I'm like, wow. That's going to be scary. Every time we went to trap him, he would split, go down the lane, make a really difficult shot. He was so explosive. I don't think it's anybody that could defend Michael. Once the cigar comes out, it's like he's already lighting a victory cigar before the competition. I had a chance to play against Michael Jordan, but it was when he had the Wizards uniform on, so it wasn't quite prime Michael Jordan, it was 40-year-old Michael Jordan. Jordan. Oh, look at that! Nice Michael Jordan! I remember he still was a phenomenal athlete, he still had great footwork, and he actually gave me about 30 points. Jordan over Pierce, he's got it! Michael Jordan has equaled his season's high. And so it was like my third year in the league, and uh, he was still probably one of the top ten athletes in the game at the time. Yeah, he trash talked a little bit. You know, I remember him hitting the fadeaway, telling me you can't get to that. Pierce, defending George, fall away, he hits. 29 for Jordan. You know, it's kind of amazing that almost every legend that played against Michael Jordan also has a Michael Jordan story explaining how he literally killed them back in the days. But that just shows again how good Michael Jordan was. 
anyway you guys i hope you enjoyed this episode don't forget to leave a like subscribe to the channel and click the notifications button so you always get notified once i upload a new video and i'll see you next time on the basketball time machine Fumes with 45 points at the end of the game you gotta get it out of his hands he's a killer